that was weird. <laughs> a lot of these things are weird for weirdness sake. Let's see what else we got in the old Christmas pouch tonight. We've got Christmas every day. Okay, and then the Nevada's Cosmic, and then this little masterpiece, which is probably going to get me copyright struck, but I don't care. I think this is an anthology, or is the next one an anthology? Ooh, the countdown is just extra exciting. <laughs> A free service of your local public library. The Pennsylvania Public Library's Film Center. Oh, boy. Bar films. Because these films should be barred. William Dean Howells. The greatest author that ever lived. Okay, so you see the extension cord? And for Christmas, I'd like a big doll. Mom, can we make popcorn? Grace, you see the tree lights? And I'd like some skates. Where's the popcorn? Grace, where's that extra box of... If you kids don't Christmas shut up, I'm gonna cords. fucking but kill all of you! Crystal Castle. And I'd like a slime ring. Grace, did she a, say slime a slime ring? ring? Yes, she did, George. Whoa! Will, we do not skateboard in the living room. Okay, Dad. Lucy wants a slime ring because last year I got one. Should we allow our kids to play with slime rings? Well, I you got her one them. last year. What are they? <laughs> They're, uh, what are they? Oh, I love Christmas. Don't you think it's time for bed, young lady? Dear, you mean you love the commercialization of Christmas and the presents you get. You don't give a shit about the traditions <laughs> or the fact that it's supposed to be Jesus' birthday. <laughs> and ever. Fine, you do. No, don't. No, no, dear. Not Christmas every day, huh? Uh. Oh, why not? It's it's so great. Great. Because I can barely tolerate it once a year. Your father's right. Just don't make that wish, Lucy. That's all. But why? What's the matter with it? Yeah, yeah why? Really uh -huh. I guess you better tell them the story, George. What story? You're right. How you were conceived. Perfect story on Christmas Eve. <laughs> okay, gather around, gang. Here we go. Oh, great, Dad. Yeah. Here, In George, the days before the television. Castle ornament to tell it properly. Isn't that the ornament that belonged to Granny Matilda? Right. right. She lived in this Let me handle the crystal castle. Oops. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it was very much like it is today, especially on Christmas Eve. Except no electricity, no heat. Gathered in this very same living room. Watching TV? Yes, watching. T no, there were no TVs back then. Listening to radio, I bet. Yes, listening to the ra no, no radio. Oh, no, you little shits! There was no technology at all. They stood around the piano singing Christmas carols. God bless you, merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born And so born it on happened Christmas on this particular Christmas Eve Christmas night. Christmas. Merry Christmas, my wonderful family! Hi, Father! Your great Wait. grandpa Pete returned from another of his little Oh, I, th I was gonna say, I thought that was the father. The tree. <laughs> and one very special one to hang on the tree. Oh, Father, it's so beautiful. It comes from a place far away, Princess. What is it? It's a magical Taiwan. castle from the North Pole. Why is it magical? Because, well, I'm told if you make a wish, the Christmas fairy who lives inside the castle just might make your wish come true. <laughs> really, Father? Oh, sure. I'll bet sure. Enough of that nonsense. I'll <laughs> bet sure. Knocking popcorn. Come on. What the fuck? Matilda, or Tilly as she was called then, loved the magic crystal castle. First, she hung it on the tree. And then she was and depressed that it could only come out for three weeks a year. Wish? Right. I wish it would be Christmas every day, forever and ever. And Santa Claus kills himself. Ha <laughs> 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 dearie, you've summoned me. For Christmas every day, forever and ever? Oh, stop, I'm down already. I did... George Please. Bailey made a more sensible well, wish than you. you really mean it. <laughs> oh, yes. But if I make it Christmas every day, you will have nothing to look forward to. I will I'll look, look into it. Every day. Oh, my. And if I grant your wish for Christmas every day forever and ever, there's no ungranting it. 
Wonderful. I love Oh, this is like when Superman tried to turn mind. human so he could fuck Lois well, Lane. In that case, you may have Christmas every day, uh, but only for a year, I think. And then we'll see about having it longer. But a year's hardly any time at all. Oh, my, my. Oh, child, I'm 182. Yes, ma'am. Oh, and thank you, ma'am. Well, total. Oh, Merry Christmas, ma'am. Oh, how very nice so, of you. So, since nobody thank works you. on Christmas and, and school's out, <laughs> it's just... <laughs> Every single day. Oh, I don't want to hear an old fairy <laughs> go. <laughs> Billy, what are you doing in there? You'll never guess what happened, Mother. What? Oh, n nothing. But something did happen that Christmas Eve. And Father will tell you what happened after we all get into our pajamas. Is it good? Well, <laughs> Wait, is this a commercial well, break? <laughs> what? You'll see. Come on, let's go. Let's get get the 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 Oh, yeah, the story's so compelling, they have to get their jammies out of here the rest Did of it. Did Tilly get her wish, Dad? Everybody in their jammies? Wait for me! Now tell us what happened to Granny Matilda. Well, Tilly well, woke um, morning with eyes like muffins. I'd like to explain why my nose goes past Christmas, my far Christmas, eyeball. Christmas! 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 Yay, it's Christmas! Oh, wait, 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 wait. And there it was, laid out on the library table, and under the tree were books and portfolios, boxes of stationery, Jewelry and Who gets a portfolio for Christmas? And snow shovels and photograph frames and dollhouses and little easels and boxes of watercolors and... Candy, candy, candy! What a nice tie. Oh, what a nice dress. Oh, what a beautiful doll. Pete, isn't it time for the surprise? The, uh, what? The special surprise. Oh, yes, the special uh, Oh, yes, your mother's uh, pregnant again and we have to kill one of you. Pete, the basket. <laughs> Just get the basket. Oh, yes, the basket. <clears throat> Well, God, that guy's got bigger feet than me. Demand a great deal of responsibility on the part of you children, and uh. I'm a puppy! A puppy! Give me a puppy! I'll name him Rover. Who's going to have to take All right. care of Rover? I will take a look at it. It was a wonderful Christmas. They had a if it's on YouTube and it's got no copyright strikes, I'm sure it's fun. And cranberry sauce and rice pudding <coughs> and tapioca and Christmas cookies and Christmas cakes and Christmas candy. Yeah, you already have diabetes, kid. Well, we'll see if we turn this house into such a sideshow next year. And that night, the whole family slept heavily and slept very late into the next morning. And the fight for the toilet the next morning was colossal. Christmas! 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 What nonsense! It was Christmas yesterday! Well, it's Christmas again! Come down to the library and see! What's a library? Oh. Gee, what a nice tie. It looks so familiar. What a nice... Now, I'm sure I received something like this before. Oh, what a nice dress. Oh, I need all the clothes I can get. Oh, <coughs> what a beautiful doll. Pete, isn't it time for the surprise? Well, why did she get a second no. a doll that's surprise different and everybody else got the identical gift? Behind you, the basket. Oh, of course. Again? <clears throat> well, family, this gift will uh, demand a great deal of responsibility on the part of all you children. A puppy! A puppy! Give me a puppy! <laughs> They're going to have 365 puppies. Who's going to have to take care of Spot and Rover? Yes, the second day of Christmas was just like the day before. Oh. <laughs> well, children, we'll see if we turn this house into such a uh, sideshow uh, uh, next year. Last night, the family slept very heavily, and in the morning slept very late. And then, just like on the first and the second day... It happened again. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. 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 I Don't fucking hate Christmas. Christmas. It was Christmas yesterday. And the day before. Well, it's Christmas again today. Come see. So get your fucking lazy ass out of bed. Christmas. <laughs> it's Christmas again. <laughs> well, well, we're going to have to start cooking these dogs. The day of Christmas was very much like the first and the second. Oh, another uh, tie. That's a uh, very uh... nice dress. But couldn't you have at least gotten me a different color this time? Oh, what a surprise! A doll. Isn't it time for the basket? <laughs> the what? The surprise. What surprise would that be? The uh. Oh, the basket. Well, <clears throat> family, this gift will uh, demand a great deal of responsibility. You know what? You have no Bye. business. Um, pissing upon this. This is your fault. <laughs> Christmas every day went on day after day and week after week, and people were getting pretty fed up. And keeping it a secret that it was her fault was really getting to Tilly. Mother, 
I have something to tell you. I yes, bent dear. space time. Did I ever find out who was the cause of all of this? You were saying, Tilly, dear. Oh, never mind. Now, don't think it was just Christmas every day at Granny Matilda's house. Oh, brother. Kill me. And so on it went. On and on. It was Christmas on Lincoln's birthday. It was Christmas on Washington's birthday. <laughs> I guess it was, it Christmas, was Christmas for it John Wilkes Booth on Lincoln's on birthday. birthday. Jingle bells, jingle bells. And even Christmas turkey skyrocketed. How much? Five thousand dollars. For a hummingbird? <laughs> yeah. Oh. I like gouging the customer. <laughs> The woods and orchards were now just fields of stumps. In fact, they ran out of trees completely and had to make them out of... Well, they don't need a new tree every Get day, you monsters. Get your here. Get your ragtag Christmas trees here. Well, by six months, Tilly couldn't even cry anymore. By seven months, she began to sit on any doll that crossed her path. French, porcelain, raggedy end dolls, <laughs> any kind. It was the only she pleasure so she could she get. She the sight of them and threw them across the room. Go away! In fact, everyone was flinging presents around. I name you number two hundred. Man, their yard must be despicable. <laughs> and everyone had to build barns or sheds behind their houses to hold all their presents. Oh! And if you don't shovel your presents off the public access here, I'll have to arrest you and put you in jail. I'll shovel, I'll shovel. And the townspeople have sung the Christmas song so much. <laughs> if I get drunk one more Christmas, I'm gonna lose my job. <laughs> People were now giving each other rags for presents because there was nothing left in the stores to buy. It's a very Where'd they nice get the rag? money to buy Thank all this you. shit? Oh boy, another rag. They got so poor that everybody had to go to the poor house. <laughs> the poor houses got so full they had to send the people back to their own homes. <laughs> well, if, if they still own their homes, why were they going to the poor house? <laughs> Guys, Christmas fairy? Just I know you said you can't earn stop. Wish once it's been granted, <laughs> but what if the wish wasn't a good wish to have wished for in the first place? Then will you let the wisher take the wish back and ask for another wish in exchange? Oh, and you, you oh, want another I wish? I never ask for Christmas every day. Oh, please, Christmas fairy. Sorry, you're gonna sit out the year, bitch, because I'm not one of those Christmas nice fairies. fairies. There are rules, are and I that? abide by them. And did the Christmas fairy hear her, Daddy? Well, she might have heard, but she never appeared. What happened next? Halloween. I love Halloween. Well, so did Tilly, but this Halloween wasn't like any other Halloween. Jack Skellington showed up. <laughs> well, at least things couldn't get any worse. Well, actually, the worst was yet to come. The day that had always been Tilly's own special hers alone day finally arrived. All right, let's all sing happy birthday to dear little Matilda, who we all love so very, very much. And who's Merry caused a Christmas calamity on the earth you. worse than Joe Biden's Merry presidency. You. <laughs> you know, I don't know, because it didn't have a date. Well, if there was anything that broke her spirit and, completely, like, all the green lines and everything day. tell me that it's she filmed. She decided to go to bed and stay there till the rest of the year was over. But there was, like, Christmas skateboarding and shit. You can hear me. Please listen. And wish my Christmas wish. Look, I promise I'll never wish for anything ever again. I'll help my mother with the dishes. I'll walk all 239 dogs. And I'll eat 239 my dogs. For a whole nine, five, um, three months. But please, stop making it be Christmas! It's your fault! You did it! Every day, your fault, Mama! Oh, they're gonna burn her an effigy. Keep a secret, didn't. What did it say? It's Kelly's fault! When the townspeople found out, they walked by the house and ignored her. Well, even her friends wouldn't play with her anymore. Hi, Anna. Hi, Betty. Hi, Bobby. Hi, Johnny. Uh, Even bitch. none of the 240 dogs would have anything to do with her. Fetch number 229. Tilly was so very depressed and so sure that no one anywhere loved her anymore. She, she got riddling for Christmas the next day. To do. I'm running away, Mrs. Jones. Good. <laughs> Go so fuck yourself, kid. For Christmas every day, 
decided to run away from home. But if she's not there, first off, whoever gave her the crystal, whoever gave the crystal castle to someone so ridiculously stupid is partially to blame. Oh, sure, very scared. But she didn't get very far, because guess who caught up with her right in front of Fletcher's barber shop? Her mom and dad? Right. Oh, no, I meant human traffickers. Why are you running away? <laughs> she was going to be a fentanyl mule to go over the border. I asked for it to be Christmas every day. Every day for how long? For Eternity. And ever. Forever. Forever and ever? I'm going to cave your skull in with a fucking candy cane, kid. I could ask for a year and then she'd see. Well, when the year is up, tell her that'll be just enough, thank you. But what if the fairy forgets about me and never comes back? What if it never stops being Christmas? Well, we'll just have to hope for the best and stick it out and as What do I tell the can. Jews who've had to <laughs> endure this holiday <laughs> the whole time? We're your family. We love I don't think the brother and sister and are in on this no little what. narrative. Isn't that right, children? Children. Yeah. But at last it came to good old once a year Christmas night. Please, Christmas fairy. You have to wish Please into the castle, over. stupid. How have you not rehearsed this? And when Tilly woke up that next morning, the Christmases finally were over. There was a Happy Kwanzaa! All over the country. People hugged and kissed and cried for joy. Oh, Helen, isn't it wonderful? It's not. Don't say it. Why did he have an accent? <laughs> when did he become a Norwegian? <laughs> them down into smaller versions of themselves, and then they buried them. And all the people at Celebration Bonfire... Oh, this is like when they did with all those E.T. Uh, 2600 time. Atari and cartridges. And of course, forgave Tilly and never mentioned the incident again. What? They never mentioned that it was Christmas for a year ever again? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you learned your lesson, you little bitch, and next time you just wish for something practical. And I'm ready to make it Christmas forever and ever. Oh, no! I wish you'd make sure there's never a Christmas again. In Mama fact, never, Mama. ever, ever have a Christmas. Oh, my, my, my. That's your wish? Well, how about once in a thousand years? Oh. A hundred years? Ah. Uh, I know every ten years. Wait. Very well. She just granted I the first wish. Prayer, it will only be Christmas. Unilaterally, without any kind of... Maybe we should you know, caveats, except for the one year thing. Everyone seemed to be happy with that, and I had something to look forward to. And it's important to have things to look forward to, don't you think? Oh, my, my. Yes, I look forward to the one day of freedom I get well, every year. Now make your wish, you bitch. I got a bar to get to. Time. Merry Christmas, Billy, <laughs> dear. And toodaloo. Oh. My one wish is that my wrist wasn't broken. Ow! That's right, I make up the bet. No, this all really happened. Oh, yeah. What is this, big fish? <laughs> well, believe what you wish. But remember, if you wish for what you believe you want, you... Just might get it. <laughs> okay, now. Talk okay, to kids. Now, I'm going to send you to bed before the reality of that stupidity really catches in up, up with you. Fucking do it, kid. Don't you fucking do it. Oh, it was just my imagination. It was just my yeah. imagination. I wish. I wish. Remember, if you wish for what you believe you want, you just, just might, might get it. <laughs> I wish. I wish I was an only child. I wish I was in bed right now, dreaming of how wonderful tomorrow is going to be. Oh, well. Get in bed, stupid. Merry Christmas anyway, Christmas fairy. Merry Christmas, Lucy, dear. I'll be haunting your dreams. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Night, Daddy. Night, honey. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Pleasant dreams, dearie. And a Merry Christmas to all of you. Don't, don't tell me what to do, lady. Now I'll leave the window open so she catches pneumonia and there's never another Christmas.
Dick Orkin? <laughs> really? You went through life with that name, buddy? Oh, speaking of sales, here's a good little Christmas tale for you. <laughs> I bought Scorn on Xbox, right? And was going to stream it. Because this is going to go on for another minute and a half. So, um, It turns out it won't play on the Xbox One without you being a member of their super duper secret expensive streaming service. So I had to return it. <laughs> and while I returned it, they gave me the refund, okay, but the the money hasn't appeared in my account yet. Because <laughs> Scorn was on sale. It was like half price. So I was like, fuck it. Yeah, I was in, I'm, I'm interested. Scorn is a game. It's a weird Geiger-esque game. We would have had a fun with it. But, you know, I can't play it on my current systems because my shit is old. <laughs> this was on CBS. Oh, did anybody catch a year? Hold on a minute. <laughs> Orkin Flaum. 86 this was? Uh-oh. Yeah, Misty, it was kind of like Mist if it was uh, created by H.R. Geiger. Wow, 86. This might not have been as in, like, as public domain as I think it is. <laughs> Oops. That might get struck. You know what? I'm going to probably have to edit these into separate videos to make sure I don't get fucked over on the copyright strikes. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.